I'm looking forward to to trying this out. Peaches plays this with VR, and he he can't uh, get enough of this game. I've been doing pretty well, pretty well. Yes, I bought a new hat. Yes. It's actually um, a lot better than my gray one. This fits my head a little bit better. And, uh, you know, it's winter time. And I decided to throw my jacket on just because I'm wearing a tie-dye shirt. <laughs> but anywho, um, all I did so far was adjust the game options. I usually just go in here um, on games and make sure it's not full screen. And I like to adjust my sound a little bit. So we'll see how this plays out. This is just uh, at a whim, so to speak, just kind of guesstimating what I normally do. So I've got 70% master volume, and within that we've got 40% uh, music, 100% voice, in case they want to tell me anything, I can always make sure I hear it. And then ambient volume is 60. Uh, we might have to just play with this as we go through. But other than that, everything in here is pretty much exactly the same as the defaults that I'm starting with, and I'm assuming I'm gonna get introduced to a lot of these controls. Um, I didn't spend a, any time really looking at the hotkeys, other than just saying, oh yeah, we got WASD, cool. <laughs> and I have no idea about the troubleshooting section, but hey, there's my stats, but that's already in my uh, stream information panels anyway. So yeah, if you're ever kind of curious what I game on, there's a little snapshot. All right, so without further ado, let's see what happens. I imagine we're probably gonna get thrown into some sort of cutscene. Um, I know we're going to be underwater. I have not looked at any information on this game other than what was played to in like the trailers. So we're going to... Oh, we have options. Uh, well, obviously, we have to pick survival because that's how I roll. We're not going to be doing uh, cheaty cheats. This is like, <laughs> this is cheaty cheats. No hunger or thirst. Um, hardcore. Wow. One life. No oxygen alerts. I like the skull and the skull right there. Where's the crossbones though? <laughs> and then creative where you have, you can just do whatever you want. So we're gonna go with survival and see what happens. Pretty excited. At some point during my stream, I'm sure the dog is gonna go nuts and I will need to BRB because Tonic is not home yet and that's just how things are. Uh, man, she must be on call or running late because she would normally be home by now, but that's okay. All right, awesome load screen. Oh, we're coming out of it now. Make sure we got enough brightness here on my face. Nah, um, I couldn't really, well, actually, um, Teshin visited for a week and after about three days, I could reliably let Finn cruise around by himself. Uh, oh, press any button to continue. Okay. Of course, danger and alarms. What a great way to start. Yeah. Launch in three, two, one. Escape pod? Okay, so some hell of an explosion just happened. And oh shit, fire exit just fell off the wall. And another one. Let's not get hit in the head with that. Oh! Called it! But it wasn't the fire extinguisher, it's some panel off the wall. <laughs> oh, we have a visor or something on. There was a crack. Well, at least we have fire extinguishers. We're gonna need them. Main power's offline. Oh, I can move now. Alright, cool deal. What is happening? What is happening? All right, let's see here. Pick up the fire extinguisher. Yes. Can we, can we, oh, right click to use it, okay. Spray at the base and go side to side. In case you guys ever need IRL tips on how to use a fire extinguisher. And then look at your, your tablet in the middle of all this. Cause that's exactly what you should do. <laughs> You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. All right. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. This PDA is designed to keep me alive. All right. 
One, two, three, four, five to select corresponding click slot. Okay, cool. Medical kit. Yes, let's. So it looks like. Oh, oh, it looked like it dropped on the ground. But it's not there. All right. Oh, they want me to do like one, two, three, four, five. All right, I did it. So everything is basically offline or screwed. <laughs> there is no distress signal. So no one is going to come and get me. We have some solar panel stuff here, though. Solar power cell. Okay. That's how some of this is working, I suppose. Use a repair tool. I have no repair tool yet. Use the fabricator. All right. Um, sustenance. Personal deployables. Sea glide. Mobile vehicle bait. Waterproof locker. Takes titanium. Okay. Standard oxygen tank. Fins. First aid kit. Takes fiber mesh. Okay, so this is like how I'm going to be making stuff. We can make water. Filtered water. Disinfected water with bleach. Okay. Alright. Resources. Basic materials. Alright. We got some electronic stuff. Alright, cool. Can't use any of that stuff right now in the fabricator. But at least I got my little pod, so I guess it's kind of like my home base. Damaged radio. Use the repair tool. Alright, we're left clicking. We have no repair tool right now. At least I don't think. Tab. First aid kit. Fire extinguisher. We have blueprints for basic stuff. Okay. This is basically everything I just looked at in the fabricator. Standard oxygen tank. I have that right now? Oh, no, this is just my blueprints. Okay. What do I actually have? First aid kit, fire extinguisher, nothing in my slots. Oh, there's a voice log. Aha! Uh -huh. If you're reading this, you have survived an emergency evacuation. Okay. Cool deal. I'm gonna be check. Oh, let me not hit escape to get out of there because that's bad. We gotta just use tab to go backwards. Okay, let's get out of here. I guess we should climb the ladder on the other side. Here we go. What awaits me after an explosion? Well, all right then. The Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Well now. Wait a minute, there's actually some some flying stuff here. We already have some fins on. We got something. Or weird looking boots. What's going on with my my shadow here? What am I? Look at those fingers, guys. My fingers look a little weird. And it looks like I got some like mohawky thing going on here. <laughs> All right, so if there are stuff flying here, I got to be near land, right? Isn't that the rule? And I'm guessing that is some debris or something over there because I don't see anything else floating in the water aside from the ship I just came from. All right, let's um, let's hope there's no sharks. There's probably some damn sharks in this game. All right, so cool. We have a mask and everything. Dope. So let's see the left hand side. We had 45 oxygen before I pop back up. Looks like we got a heart, food, and hydration symbol there. Got my webcam in the right place. Woo woo! Alright, I'm gonna go see what that is over there. I don't know if I can just like collect stuff off the bottom. We're gonna go check out the ship too. Ooh, pick up some metal. Sweet! Alright, we're gonna. I really hope I don't run into a shark. That's the... That's the thing right now. Alright. Heading to that. We're looking for stuff. This is more stuff. It's like a little blue stingray dealio guy. Good thing my name's not Steve Irwin. So it's not a bad time to remark that some birds travel thousands of miles before returning to land. Yeah, you know what? You could always throw that one out there and just debunk my mindset. Like, there is no land for you, Exum! Remind me, Momo, to never take you with me if we're gonna get stranded somewhere. Just playing. <laughs> what is up, Kung Fu? Oh, thanks very much for the host. I appreciate it. 
we are playing Subnautica for the very first time, so I'm sure there's people that have already been playing this game long before I picked up a copy. But uh, I heard this is really good, and it was on my uh, wish list for a while. Tonic is not home yet, but hopefully she will be. Giant coral tubes. Okay, so it says what it is. Can I do anything with it? I guess not. Can I swim through it. It's a tube. It should have an inside. Ooh, wait, what's this? Pick up. Oh! Hey, look, we've already found some acid mushrooms. Just what everyone needs when they're stranded with nothing to do. At least you can go on a trip. <laughs> Coral shell plate. We're gonna get all these acid mushrooms. I gotta get used to my oxygen meter here. This does not look like it lasts for a very long time. My dude is not very skilled at holding his breath. I'm gonna check out this tube just cuz. Oh, it tells me where my little uh, home base thing is. I was wondering, what the hell is that? Wait a minute. Is there more than one? Oh wow, I just turned around that fast that it... Okay, we are 256 meters away from our... From our deep. There's some interesting creatures out there. What is that? That looks pretty large. Okay, let's head to the ship. See what we can find out. Gotta be some stuff we can get off of there. Some food or something along those lines. Get more acid mushrooms. I have no idea what I'm gonna be using these for. I have no idea how inventory works in here. I don't see like a weight meter. Is there anything in here that talks about my weight? Oh, we have slots. And each acid mushroom that I pick up takes up a slot. We might be picking up too many acid mushroom guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. Hey, hey, hey. This actually says like something stone. Break, break something. Wait, what's that right there? Break limestone outcrop. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just decreased to unlikely, but plausible. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't aggro. We are gonna find out. I'm sure at some point they're gonna have some hostile creatures in the water for me to do it. I, the only thing I have right now, eat something. Uh, can I eat? How do I eat? Might have to go back to like the fabricator thing. Hmm. Let's just press on. Hopefully our little apple meter doesn't go down too much. <laughs> Increase to unlikely what could be worse? Impossible! Impossible! That's that, <laughs> that is what would be likely. Creepy vines? We got something down there. There's all kinds of creepy stuff in here, man. Creepy vines, wildlife. I have, I have no idea if it's even gonna let me. You would imagine that you'd get some. I hope I can get in there and just cruise around on the destroyed ship. Lots of bubbles. I like how we're already at nighttime. Having flashbacks to Minecraft, man. I don't even have a house. I don't even have a place to hide. I'm just in the sea. I'm so vulnerable right now. I hope I can eat some plants. Oh! Oh! No. Nope. Nope. We're not doing that. Nope. We are not gonna deal with radiation. We are gonna go back to our little pod. That answers that question. I swam all the way out of here. Just to get hit with a radiation warning. Maybe it's because I'm by the engines at the back of the ship. We could try going around to the front of the ship. Let's go down here underwater a little bit and see if we can't find maybe something to eat. Giant coral tubes again. I can't do anything with that. More acid mushrooms. I love how there's this huge freaking ship right there, but it's not under the water at all. It's like most of the ship is above the water. You guys seeing this? Maybe it's just like my distance, but if I can see it on top, I should be able to see it underneath. So this, this massive ship here is just floating 
<laughs> on top of the water. Yo, game developers, I think you're missing something. Oh no, radiation again! I think we're screwed. I don't think they want me to go back onto the, the ship. Yes, it is a styrofoam ship. I like that idea. All right, you know what? We're just gonna head back here and maybe we can process these mushrooms into some food or something. We have 45 oxygen to start with. If I can get more metal, I might be able to make that survival knife. Then maybe I can cut stuff. Ooh, what's this? Yeah. Silver-based you... wiring kits Silver are an essential component of many habitat modules. Should be able to eat these fish, guys. Pick up the fish. Yes, let's pick them up. New creature discovered. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oxygen. Oh. oh. Can I like fast them? Can I hold down shift to help me get out there faster? Three oxygen. No. Woo. All right, cool. We made it, and we have our guy here. I'm gonna call this dude Cyclops Fish. We're gonna call him Psych for short. What's up, Psych? I'm just gonna carry him. It'd be cool if he was like helping me swim. Let's go, dude. Pull me. Swim faster! <laughs> Alright, we're 100 meters out. We got Psych with us. We just chilling. We having a good time. You know, if Tom Hanks could have Wilson, I could have Psych. And then I could just be like, Psych! What am I gonna do with this fish? Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, that's a fancy way of saying you need to eat some stuff, dude. Where's my ladder? Oh, psych! Oh, we kept them. Cool. Let's go in here. Board the escape pod. Can we keep? Yes. I don't know where I'm gonna put psych though. Can I just like drop him on the ground here? Hey, hey, sustenance. Cooked food. Cook spade fish. Psych, you're gonna help save my life. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> We're gonna have to eat you. Your daily dose of salt in a single portion. Dehydrating, but keeps well. Um, okay, we're not gonna... Detecting increased local radiation levels. Your daily Trend dose. is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Inventory. Sustained during planet fall. Where's the speed... Here we go. I'm sorry, Psych. All right, Vital we ate him. Stabilizing. Okay, at least we figured out how to eat. Now, what the hell am I supposed to do with all these mushrooms I got? Oh, we should probably use that first aid kit. Okay, cool. Now we're at 101 over here. Very good job. Uh, metal salvage. Okay, what can we uh, should be able to make some stuff with that? Oops, my name not hit escape. Uh, resources, please. Basic materials. Make some titanium. We can make a lot of titanium. We picked up four metal salvage, I think. Let's just keep clicking this. Alright, uh, ooh, a titanium ingot. Condensed titanium bar. That lit up. We didn't, couldn't do that before. We have anything here under electronics? Oh, battery, acid mushroom, and copper ore. Okay. Is that what I want to do right now, though? Because I don't think I have very much copper. I might have, like, one copper. Personal equipment. Oh, hey, an oxygen tank. Takes three titanium. That might be smart to do. We can make a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I need this thing at the house, right? Actually, I really would like the Star Trek fabricator where I can just, like, tell it the punch in a meal and just be like beep, and give me food floating air pump pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for a pipe chain oh ho, we're gonna have pipes and stuff in this game that sounds cool deployables a waterproof locker small storage that maintains position in the water okay that's that's all neat and stuff um tools a scanner takes battery and titanium Hey, that repair tool for the stuff in my pod. I need to get these things. Cave sulfur, silicone, rubber, and more titanium. We can make a flashlight, but we don't have any glass. Here's the knife I was wondering about. Silicone rubber. How does one make silicone rubber? Resources. 
basic materials. Silicone rubber. Creep vine seed clusters. Oh, I should have. At least we know where there's some creep vine. It's toward the ship. All right, so I think we're gonna have to go back out. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just make this oxygen tank. So I can stay under. Whoa. Now, do I have to equip that? Uh, I wonder if um, I have to like recharge it too. Oh, right click gets me out of there. Nice. So back in here, um, inventory. We've got all of our acid mushrooms. Maybe I should just convert those. Wow, this titanium takes up a good bit of space too. We only have that one copper right now. Oh, it automatically did equip it. Okay. 30 seconds of oxygen, compressed breathable air. I wonder how that's gonna work. I hope it just stays on me and I can just keep reusing it every time I surface. I know that's not how it works in real life, but you know, we could dream, right? All right, we need to go get some creepy vines. All right, woo! Jump in here like a boss. All right, so we need more food. So maybe we should fill up on food. Come here. New creature discovered. This guy's name is Peeper! Should have been the first dude we found. Everything here has one giant eyeball so far. What's going on with this? All right, we're gonna fix our food situation. I'm gonna cook up Peeper here in the fabricator. Where's my fabricator? Sustenance, cooked food, cooked Peeper. We gotta fix this food situation. Cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Thank you for that tidbit of information I really needed to know. All right, cured peeper, preserved and salt. Oh, that's cool, but we need salt deposits to be able to do that. That's all right. All right, let's get in here and eat this. So we need one more peepee -pee fish. Go ahead and get one more fish. Wonder if I can just walk up to one of these big guys, throw him in the fabricator. <laughs> Let's go, peep! Uh, yes, climb the ladder. Let's go in here and toss peep into the fabricator. I'm gonna get real good at coming in and out of here. I can tell already. Personal, here we go. Oh no, wait. It didn't light up the food for me this time. Cooked food, cooked paper. Yeah, it looks like there is a water hatch down here at the bottom, looks like. We'll have to try it out. All right, let's go ahead and eat, um, what's this? Plus 32 food, yeah, we can munch on him. Maybe I should get one more just to throw it in my inventory. Check you out, Momo. <laughs> let's get this guy! Wow, he goes fast. Do I have like a sprint? Nope, we don't. Oh, come here. Yes, yes. Oh, no, no. Can I not get him? Doesn't give me the prompt to get him. He's too big. Pee pee. <laughs> All right, we got this dude. We're gonna, yeah. This is a little better than using the ladder. I don't have to worry about what side the ladder's on. All right, sustenance. Cook this guy up. We'll put him in the inventory. And then I have this water stuff down here. How am I gonna get water? Ingredients are unknown. And if I get bleach, I can disinfect some water. That's gonna be the next thing to try to figure out. Now that we got food figured out. How do I get bleach? I guess we'll start with stuff that's close down. Ooh, look at that guy. He's got like lights. Or is that electricity? It could be like an eel, electric eel. Alright, let's see what these are. Acid mushrooms, writhing weeds. Tissue. 
table coral. So I can't smash that off and get something cool. I need to get more ore. Which seems to just be on the side of the rocks. There was a survival knife that I could make, but I don't have the materials for it yet. I'm gonna need, I think, some more ores and stuff. So this looks like more... My oxygen is definitely helping out. I'm lasting a lot longer underwater than I was before. It was a smart move. Oxygen. Yeah, I now have 75 oxygen instead of 40. I think it was 45. Hey, look at this. We need a cave sulfur. This kind of looks like a cave. Pick up quartz. The only bad thing about being in caves is um, I can't just swim directly up, so we gotta keep that in mind. I like this purple. Totally coming over here. Acid. I don't need more acid mushrooms. I need this stuff. 45 oxygen. I was gonna go up, but this is probably, uh, yeah, that's something. Huh. Alright. I like in this. Right now we're looking pretty good. We just haven't figured out our solution for water yet. I hope I don't die. Alright, more metal salvage. This is helpful. This gives me a lot of, um... Oh, we're, our inventory is full right now. I just need to drop some of these, um... I really don't need this many acid mushrooms, and these things are everywhere. Metal salvage, however, is not. There's a cave system down there. We're gonna fill up real quick. Ooh, pretties. Hmm. Holy shit! That, that dude... Look, look here, bro. He just... Did he just come after me and blow up on me and kill himself? That's like a damn suicide fish. Can I actually attack people with a fuel? Oh, this can help me move. Pick up cave sulfur. Hey, I need this. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component. 30 seconds. Of the repair tool. Oh god. 30 seconds of oxygen. That was not the way out. Oh no! Alright, we've got to hang out here. I think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna make it. Oxygen. Alright, we found a cool, a cool spot, but, um, yeah, there's not a quick way to get oxygen out of here. We gotta get in here and just grab what we can, and look for more explody fishies that wanna get me. Looks like I can just go out this way and then swim up. We're at 42. Man, you have really got to keep an eye on your oxygen. Yeah, this is just go back in there. All right, can I find more sulfur stuff? I don't really know what I'm gonna be using all this. Oh, oh shit! That was the meter about my uh, the fact that I need to get some water. How am I going to figure that out? I haven't ran into any bleach. Giant coral tubes. We might have to go and try and figure something out with the water. Where's my pod? At least my pod's not so far. Not so far away. What's up, Tech Gold? How are you doing, buddy? Appreciate you stopping in. We're playing some Subnautica. That guy. He's kind of cool looking. Alright, this is that whole, like, water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Alright, we need... 
Is this like every my inventory is full? Like replenishes over time or something. Alright, sustenance, nothing in here. I am gonna go ahead and just eat this thing because I don't want it to go bad. Where'd my fish go? Old cooked peeper. Now he's 27 food. Huh, see that's so they actually have a delay. <clears throat> You don't get as much if you keep them in your inventory. Uh, it's an exploration underwater game, survival. Apparently my ship blew up and I got ejected out in a pod and I'm in the middle of the ocean and that's really all I know. I haven't done very much of this game at all. I've only been playing for 40 minutes. <laughs> all right, let's see. Um, oh yeah, so we got a lot of copper. We've got a lot of quartz. We're gonna have to switch over this metal salvage into some usable things. We got cave sulfur this time. Um, we have learned some blueprints from making things. Uh, okay, let's fire up the fabricator. Resources, we got electronic stuff here. Yeah, let's do a battery. Why not, we'll make a battery. Ah, we now know how to make power cell. Oh, we made, we made a power cell, that's right. All right, cool. Um, copper wire. I wonder if I should just make stuff just to make, just, I'm gonna make one of everything. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, alright. Basic materials from metal salvage, yes please. I think we're gonna be needing a lot of titanium. Condensed titanium bar. Takes 10 titanium. We should probably do that to save room in my inventory. Seek fluid intake immediately. Oh yeah, sustenance, water, filter. How do you do filtered water, man? And there's no bleach. And I'm not getting any sustenance. I'm not getting any hydration from from there. Do I have anything in here that might help me? No. Tools. Use to acquire technology blueprints and data on living organisms. All right, let's make that scanner. That sounds like a good idea. I got the ingredients for it. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Um, it's single player. It's not multiplayer. Recipe for any containers or food. There's containers. It's like storage things. But I don't really see much to help me out um, beyond that. Oh, here's the repair tool. We, can need, we need to make silicone rubber. And we can get a flashlight eventually. Oh, this, the um, quartz is probably to make glass, if I had to guess. Oh, we need to make more silicon rubber, man. Flares, habitat builder, chip, wiring kit, and battery. Fabricates habitat component and appliances from raw material. Huh. Okay. Um, electronics. We, we know how to do computer chip. Wiring kit. Hmm. Oh. The creep vine is how I'm going to get silicon rubber. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We can make some glass. Man, my water, how do I need? Oh my goodness, we're gonna die. That's what's gonna happen to me. We're gonna die. We are gonna die, guys. We have not figured out how to do, unless I can figure something out. Hey, we can scan ourselves. That's kind of cool. Um, first aid kit. Is there anything in here that can give me water? We have to use the repair tool on that. I didn't see anything in here that would help me out with water. We have got to get out of here. I have a biological tool, or this this tool thingy. How am I supposed to scan stuff with this? I have no clue. I'm trying to. Oh, it's searching. It says searching. I need to find bleach. Brain coral. I have a feeling you're supposed to make this thing, and then brain coral. Air tanks are equipped to siphon oxygen from the water where possible. I probably gotta scan something and then it's gonna tell me that I can get water from it. Table coral. Scan this. Exploitable and computer chip map, uh, manufacturing. Okay. Acid mushrooms. Tell me you guys have water in you or something. Acid. And then it's gonna complain about oxygen here in a moment. I wonder what happens when you die. 
Let me just die in my pod. Oh, are we even gonna get into my pod? We're getting wrecked right now. Okay, we're gonna die right here. I'm gonna be mad if it throws me like the beginning of the game, because I I don't know how the auto saves are gonna work. Oh. Meanwhile, is there anything in my like data bank in here about water? Start here. <laughs> Yeah. Board, da, da, da. Okay, survival checklist. Check life pod for damage, repair stuff, locate other survivors. Nothing in here <clears throat> tells me anything about how I'm gonna get two birth emergency life pod. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, all right. We still kept our stuff. Uh, I believe we kept our stuff. Quartz, glass, my scanner's here. We've got our, uh, my food took a, did my food take a hit? Copper wire, cave sulfur. Okay, you know what? Cool, I'm all right with this. We died and it, uh, it didn't like roll me back. Hellfish. Hey, there's a peeper. I need that guy. We need to scan him too, though. Oh my god. Stay still. Peepers. Well, they talk about the eyeballs, the fins, his beak, explosion tubes. Purpose unclear. Edible high calorie count. Further research is needed. What do you mean further research? Am I gonna have like an advanced scanner? I don't know how I feel about this nighttime thing. All right, we're gonna catch this guy. Wait a minute, this guy, a rabbit ray? He's aptly named, because he, he's fast. Rabbit ray. Inedible, but harmless. What do you think I'm trying to scan a fish that's coming after me that wants to eat me? What's this guy? Oh wait, who might as well, wait, coral shell plate? What's this? No practical application. All right, that means I don't give a shit about it. Guys make like well noises. I'm gonna be like <laughs> shuttle bug. Three mandibles, three legs. Necessary waste recycler presence may indicate nearby cave system. Of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. All right. Ooh, what's this guy? A bladder fish? New creature discovered. I wanted to. Oh, I picked him up. He's in my hot bar. May have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources Shuttle bug. is a proven survival strategy. I wonder why he just went in my hot bar like that. The other fish didn't do that. I have to throw him in the food processor and see what's up. Hey, writhing weed. Wait, I saw that before. This lives in symbiotes, coral species. Okay, doesn't have uh, use as far as I know. Pick up a peeper, pick up a boomerang. Creature discovered. Scan him too. Come on, one of you guys has to have what I need. Oh my god. I'm trying to see. Finally, what's he, what's he about? Boomerang. Daylight hours, luminescence, it's edible. Okay, that's good to know. What is this guy? A, a gasopod? Did he just spray stuff? He did. Look, dude, I just want to scan you, okay? I'm not violating you in any way. You're still here. I don't want to be caught in that. I have no idea what that's going to do to me. Gasopod. Approach with caution, acidic pods may be retrieved and repurposed. We can harvest his gas? I don't know if I want to harvest his gas. We still have not figured out yet how we are supposed to get water. It's gotta be something simple that I'm just not, that I haven't scanned yet. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a beaver. You know what? Let's go ahead and get you out of the way. I, I don't know how I'm able to carry the fish now. It wasn't letting me carry fish before. Maybe because I have a scanner in my hand that's going into my hot bar. Looks kind of like a Pokemon. <laughs> Everything looks like Pokemon down in here. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go in here. We're gonna cook up some fish. Use the fabricator, sustenance. Hey, whoa, whoa, water, how? Filtered water from a bladder fish. What? Now we under now we know how to do it. Uh, yes, we're gonna have to make sure we cook the bladder fish. And we, oh, okay, so we can cook them or we can use them for um, good eating around the fins and cook peepers, all right. <laughs> Tack likes getting excellent quotes. It's, it's gone. <laughs> oh man, personal. What do we got here? Tools. Hey, hey, we got. Oh, we can make some flares, but I don't want to make some flares. Useful for distracting certain predators. Maybe I should make some flares. In case I run into those dudes who want to explode on me. Better be prepared, right? Should we do it? What do you guys think? Should we make the flares or hold off? Like my, I haven't really found a whole lot of cave sulfur. I don't know. Electronics, power cell, batteries. We still got some more things we can do in here. Cured food. I don't have, did I get salt deposits? Okay, I think we're good with that stuff right there. <clears throat> Tax like, that's my job. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, why did I miss in here that it said that um, assessment? Out of oxygen may retrieve from the bladder and added to tanks on consumption. Membrane has applications as a natural water filter. I don't, I I feel bad that I missed that. Okay, I thought I was scrolling down and looking at the usefulness on all these, but I must have missed the damn bladder, the bladder fish. Oh, let's go here to my inventory and eat a cooked peeper. So yeah, he's 31 food right now and four water. And then the boomerang dude is 20 food and 2 water. Okay, and then we got uh, 20 on a filtered water. And that doesn't look like it's going to go bad. We might have to go get some more bladder fish. That's going to be a priority. Stock up on uh, stock up on those dudes. Alright, so we are figuring things out slowly but surely. We at least know how to survive. And we got this cool scanner now. I need to go back to that cave system. And I need to grab as many bladder fish as I can find. I think they're like a vertical fish, if I remember right. Okay, we'll grab it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just gonna start spamming left click. Good, we got a bladder, dude. I need to get like all the bladder fish that I see. All right. What is that guy? It doesn't even pop up a name when I'm looking at him. He's just kind of stuck there. And it's not scanning him either. I wonder if that's like a glitch. Get some oxygen here. So I think that cave system is back this way. It's probably like 90 meters out or something like that. Goodness, guys, you need, a, you need a cork. Plug that up. Table coral. Hey, this is that creepy vine stuff. Heck yes, I think it is anyway. I'm gonna go check this out. Get some oxygen and then come back down. That is down there, though. Damn. I like that you can just pop up and you instantly get your oxygen back. Oh yeah, creepy vine, here we go. Creep vine, not creeper. It's creeper vines, we can have creepers in this game. Creep vine, edible construction applications. All right, now the question is, how does one harvest it? Do I need a knife to get this? Because it's not giving me the option to do so. 
probably need a knife to cut it. We gotta make that survival knife. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Oh, oh wait a minute, here we go. Pick up seed clusters. This is what we need New from it. Blueprint. seconds. My inventory is full. Where's we still have a bunch of acid mushrooms in here? Get rid of these. We're gonna need to get some oxygen. Come on, let me get some more creepies. All right, uh, inventory is full. Oh my goodness, can we get to the surface? Please, let me get to the surface. I don't think we're gonna make it. Six, three. Do we start taking health damage? What happens when we run out of oxygen? Oh, we just broke the surface. Oh, I should probably figure out what happens if you, um... All right, we got stuff. We need to go back to the thing. All right, let me, uh, where's my, there's my pod. 150 meters. They don't give you a, um, a compass thing in this game. Scan myself here. You got anything else going on here? Scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. You're totally gonna get this game? It's pretty cool so far. I'm waiting to see what else I'm gonna be able to build. You know, like right now, beginning game is always like a struggle, but, um... There was talk of pipes and stuff, so I wonder if I can start eventually constructing some cool stuff. And we're gonna have to get our things repaired in here too. All right, so fabricator time. We can make a new resource, basic materials. We can do lubricant from creep vine seed clusters. Man, we are still missing. So wait, you can make bleach from salt deposit and coral tube samples. How do I get a coral tube sample? I do not see that option. Uh, let's condense my titanium some more. It's taking up a lot of my inventory space. Silicone rubber. Here we go. This is what I wanted to make from that creep vine stuff. Wow, we got uh, quite a bit of that. Maybe I should get one of these. Well, let's wait and see. All right. Um, we've made. We haven't made any wire yet, but we have silicon rubber now. Let's go look at um, the tools. Personal tools. I want to get. Uh huh. We can have, we can make a repair tool. Yes, please. All right. So we've got the scanner. We just made the repair tool. Um, flashlight will be cool to have. We need to make a battery. Electronics. Battery. Let's make a battery. Go back in here to tools and get me a flashlight. There's the knife that's coming up next. Survival knife takes titanium and silicone rubber. Yes, please. I want a knife. Maybe I can get samples now. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. This because you need to survive, man. Air bladder comes from a emergency flotation device. Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy. Oh, I bet we can use this to get to the surface when we're struggling. Like, it'll help me get to the surface if I really need oxygen. That seems like a good idea to make that. And we still have plenty of water, and we still have the one that we can drink. So, you know what? I I'm going to make the air bladder. I'm going to put that in my bar just in case. And then if I feel like I'm going to die, I'm going to hit that damn air bladder. All right. Um, tools. Yeah, so we're looking. We just made a whole lot of stuff, guys. We just made a ton of stuff. Um, we need to sort this out. Now let's go ahead and consume this water. And, oh, we still have seed clusters to do and glass to make. Um, we can probably do some of that too. Do we have already have the repair tool down here? It looks like a, let's see here, three. That's my personal flotation thing. I wonder if I can just hold it. Like it doesn't, oh, all right, let's repair some stuff. Repair. We just right click. Power is 98%. Oh, this is where batteries are going to come into play. Lightboard secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Geological data. Three ocean planet. 
That's a Category 3 ocean planet. We have oxygen and nitrogen atmosphere, extensive biodiversity, safety warning. May support Leviathan-class predators. <laughs> oh! Okay, then. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. <laughs> this game really likes the words unlikely, like your host. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. Okay. All right, then. Oh, man. So, we've got uh, secondary systems are on. Radio is offline, but I saw radio was in here. It needed repaired. Here we go. Let's repair the radio, right? Damaged. It's a damaged radio. Let's pump this joker to 100. Radio, play message. This is alarm. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay. We've got the radio up. Hey, there's a storage container right here. What? I did not know that was there! Uh. <laughs> so what do we have in here, guys? We have some water. I died, like, two feet away from the water. But now you know when you start this game for yourselves that they give you some food and water and some flares! right off the get-go. All right, um, let's take a food block and a water and a flare. And uh, yeah, I, I need to put this knife on my heart bar. I don't really think I need a fire extinguisher. I think that can help me go faster. You know what, we'll carry it, but we're not gonna put it. Why does it insist on putting it on my hot bar? Um, okay, flashlight, repair tool, air bladder, scanner I want to put the flare I want to put the knife on my bar actually um, oh can I not do that what is this thing supposed to be all right so at least they give me a little storage thing how am I supposed to give this thing more power it's solar, so it should just work. Okay. What else we got here? Outgoing radio communication is offline. And... Alright. So... I think that's everything that's in here. We need to look at what else we can make real quick and see what we're missing. I wanted to make some glass. Here we go. What is up, Drift? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. So we'll make a couple things of glass, and we had some seed clusters left over. So let's um, make a lubricant. Might come in handy one day. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Oh, okay. Maybe we can use that to make something. Personal tools. Do we have everything? We haven't done this. Battery wiring kit, and computer chip as a habitat builder. A habitat compartment. I wonder if this is like gardening or something. A habitat builder? I am in here blind. Tell you what, if you're willing to watch and help out periodically, if I if I claim that I need like critical assistance, you can hop in and tell me what I'm missing. Because I just died not knowing that there was water in a storage container right next to me. <laughs> that was fun. But hey, I know how to make water now. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming, swimming was your favorite activity. That's great. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. You like the help on this game, but it's hard to figure things out. That's cool. I appreciate you standing by. Uh, let's see. Let's make another battery just because we have flashlights and things. And though it didn't say it's going to need batteries. Um, man, look at this stuff. Floating air pumps. Pipe chains and pipes. 
fins. Vertical limb movement underwater in the forward thrust, 15%. I need to make more silicone rubber. Let's make that. Give me some fins. Personal... Was it under equipment? Yeah, fins. So we can... Ha ha! The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. What good are you? We need to override this. Give me all the stuffs. Alright, did it put my fins on for me? It did. Cool. Enhanced swim speed by 15%. We've got our oxygen tank, and we have a couple other slots here, and a chest piece, looks like. Man, my inventory looks great right now. You know what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take advantage of this storage container. Let's, um... Is there anything in here I don't need right now? Lubricant and copper wire and let's throw some titanium. I wonder if I can just like click. Oh ha! You can't just right click and throw it over there. Much better. Copper ore. All right, we're gonna go on a on a mission here and go scan and try to get more stuff. Now that we know we have this box here, we're gonna be in good shape. Is there anything else about the Habitat Builder? Fabricates Habitat Compartment and Appliances from Raw Material. Not a whole lot. The Sea Glide looks like, oh, I guess that's like a watercraft. And a mobile vehicle bay. This is going to come later. And a waterproof locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. So we can put these underneath my pod if we run out of storage space. It's like, it's like chess. Minecraft, but it's going to float in the water. All right, I'm, I'm cool. Look at all this, um base pieces oh yeah that's what i'm talking about we haven't found lead yet though we, we know where to find salvageable titanium and look we can we're eventually going to have a base with a cool hatch windows solar panels pipes base attached air pump this is going to be cool the ones that are grayed out require fragments to be scanned okay and then Momo's like, I worry about that bacteria warning. Are we going to run in the Space Age Underwater Organ Trail? You have dysentery. Oh god, I hope not. Please don't have diseases in this game. I don't need that right now. Fabricator radio, wall locker. Hey man, this is cool. Large freestanding storage, quartz and titanium. Hey! Hey, hey. I have quartz and titanium. Hey look, we can make a sign. Save me! <laughs> That's going to be it right there. Alright, let's um... Let's go swimming, man. We got stuff to do. And it's nighttime. Warning. I have a flashlight. Though. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh no. So, we were avoiding this because of radiation. And now I'm wondering. I might have to turn down my mouse sensitivity. That's the second time that's happened. Um. Yeah, it's about as useful as that, exactly. I would imagine I would eventually be able to get radiation suit, but I think this is just gonna blow up and we're not gonna we're not gonna be okay. What's the flashlight look like? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. This would be kinda cool if I'm in a cave or something that I can't see. And then I've got the preserver thing. Is that a one-time thing? Or can I keep it? Things we have to figure out. Looks like I can use it more than once. Which is kind of cool. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me, um, I did bump it up before I started playing. And I'm guessing, uh, let's see here. Keyboard. Mouse sensitivity is take that down just a little bit okay when a countdown begins watch the aurora because the thing is going to start blowing up on me <laughs> we're going to fight the radiation warning this time i'm going to see what happens we're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. If anything, 
I have a first aid kit, and I have full health right now, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. Hey, hey, there's lots of things down here. Let's get 